Hey, Lauren, it's Friday, and you know what that means. Of course I do. We gotta get down. No, it's time for a new quiz. Wait a minute. Didn't you say you were gonna do that on Saturday? I did say that, but this week we're gonna try it on Friday. We're gonna do something a little different, shake things up this week, because last week I had so much fun taking the uh, the online pass with you. Uh, this is gonna be a deep dive in an old show that we did back in 2015, 2015, that's six years ago. It was uh, one of the very first news shows that we did. We looked at the week's news by doing it as a quiz, like seven or eight different questions. We had a whole lot of fun. And I thought, just like last week, what we would do is we would bring our uh, our main news correspondent, our host, for the uh, for Defunct Games News. We'll bring him in to see how well he does against a game that I made six years ago. So, Lauren, we have the, uh, the news coming up this week. Anything you should uh, be looking out for, we should be paying attention to? As always, covering the great, good, and gooberific in gaming. Uh, sure. Anything to look out for? Yeah. Well, a tease. Um, well, I mean, look, put it this way. It's it's never good news when Cyberpunk or Stadia <laughs> are involved. And trust me when I say we have plenty to work with having seen what transpired this week. Oh, I, I think we're going to have a lot of Stadia news for days and weeks to come, right up until they bury it into the ground. A fate not reserved for the most... Uh, you know, the good of, of, you know, gaming developers, but nevertheless, you know, some, uh, you know, some of these things are self-inflicted and maybe you just don't do silly things, but what are you going to do? Well, all we can do is cover the news. Yeah. We, we, we we hold no sway as to whether or not it's good or bad. We just cover it. That's all we're that's, here to do. That's true. It's usually pretty bad, though. All right. We're going to be, we're <laughs> going to be looking at, uh, we're going to go back to August 2nd, 2015. For this week's quiz, this is the second episode that I ever posted to this thing. And if you didn't, if you didn't tune into our first episode, here's how it's going to work: we're going to watch the, we're going to watch the video together, both Lauren and I. And then we're going to pause after each question, and we're going to answer. We're going to write it down with a, the number two pencil, and then we're going to uh, see how we do at the end of the episode. And hopefully, you, dear viewer, will uh, play along with us. Maybe uh, you'll see how. How you how you do compared to us? So, all right, Lauren, are you ready for this week's quiz? I'm ready, and they better be ready. They better be ready. So here we go. Here we go. Again, I'm not the only one dancing to this. Just this let it take you. Such a good song. This is Online yeah. Pass, the weekly video game news quiz show. My name is Cyril Lachelle, mm. and I'm going to ask you a series oh. of questions oh, based on some of the biggest news stories from the ask past week. It's your job to answer each question correctly. So grab a piece of Got paper it. and a number Got two it. pencil. Got it. Because this is a test. It's a test, baby. Let's do this. Question one. Even though we don't know what the Nintendo NX Ooh. will look like, or even what it is, that didn't stop one of Japan's biggest publishers from officially announcing the first two games for the Wii U successor. What games were announced for the NX? Okay. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Huh. All right. So we didn't even know it was going to be called the Switch at that point. The NX is what NX. we knew. NX. What was that supposed to stand uh, for? I don't know, next. Next. NX. Um, uh, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, NX. So, uh, all right. So, you figure one of them's probably... One of them's got to be Zelda, right? Because that was a, a first... You know, that was already coming to the, the Wii U, so they probably announced that it was going to be uh, getting a port. What What else? Do you, any I, that, that spring to mind for you? I mean, the, the only two names that I think of when I think of new Nintendo is Mario and Zelda. So, um, uh, I think yeah, you're I, right. I, I, the I same think thought you're right about the other one. I think they probably said that there would be, you know, they, they probably announced Breath of the Wild. I don't even, I don't even know if they would have known that name at that point or would have announced the name at that point, but I think they would have, uh, 
that would have been one, and then also probably some, you know, and then we're also working on a new Mario. I think you're probably right on that. Yeah. Yeah. But which is that are we allowed to have those as just answers, or are we allowed well, to It said two ga two games. So we're allowed to put Mario in Zelda? I think so. Oh sweet. Okay, cool. I'll put Mario in Zelda. Well, I mean, I, I think they wouldn't have announced what the the Mario game would be, but it would have been, you know, the game that ended up being Mario Odyssey, I assume. Wouldn't have been a cart game? Well, they haven't released a new Mario Kart game. They have the the port of the one that came out on the Wii U that that came out pretty early in the the Switch's life cycle, but they they don't have a new one yet. Okay. Okay. And then Smash Brothers, like all the big ones, came out like a year or two later. So I, it's got to be Mario and Zelda, right? All right. Well, if we can put Mario and Zelda's answers, I'm 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 perfectly confident with that answer. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Question two. Question two. Question two. It's been a bad week for oh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, no. The superstar wrestler spent the better part of the week apologizing <laughs> for terrible racist comments. Uh, this was, oh, was no. more. That was the this WWE week, was it? <sighs> completely erased Hogan from their website. Yep. And the body blows. Yes, they did. Coming. 2K Games announced this week that the 61 year old porn star has been dropped from WWE 2K16. What non-wrestling character has 2K Games decided to add to WWE 2K16 in oh. Hulk's absence? God, I should know this. Oh, boy. Uh, I think I'm going to rely on, I, you on for you on this one. I think I might just know the answer to this question. Okay. And I don't want to say that because I'm going to look really dumb now because I'm probably going to get it wrong. But if I had okay. to guess, mm. I would say it's probably Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. If I if memory serves, this is around that time when he was being added to. The, in fact, I think he went in the Hall of Fame, uh, the year that one of the Terminators came up because Triple H came to the ring WrestleMania two thousand something with Terminator heads. Like the gimmick was that he was like the the Terminator killer. Okay. So, if I had to guess, I'd say it was Arnie. Arnie. I mean, unless you have any, unless you have any, do you do you know of anyone else who is, for, you know, WWE uh, uh, tight? I mean, are you saying that it was Trump? I don't no, see them making no, him into a wrestler. That. Don't say that. No, I think you're probably right, but I, I don't have an answer, so I, I'm just gonna go with that. So okay. you're you're saying Arnie? I if I had to guess, I would say it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's 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 keep going. Question three. Question three. Last weekend saw the release of Pixels, the Oof. newest Adam Sandler movie. While Great I'm movie. not in the habit of making this show about the box office, Pixels did feature oh, no. a lot of game characters from the 1980s. Mm. It was poised to clean up against what looked like relatively weak competition. How much money did Pixels make at the U.S. box office in its opening weekend? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Are we allowed ballpark figures with this one? Um, yeah, we're probably going to have to come close. As, as okay. Well, okay, I'm yeah. gonna say it made some, some money. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's not a ballpark. <laughs> it's a big ballpark. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Well, the way I worded that made it sort of sound like it was expected to, and maybe came short or or didn't. Uh, didn't fully it didn't like wasn't a big blockbuster i don't recall it opening to more than 100 million i want to say that it was it was pretty low or it was a lot lower than that do you have a, a number out or you want me to go first i was just going to throw out a, an arbitrary figure of something like 25 million or something like that but... oh no i think it, i think it's more than that but it's okay um you, okay so 25 uh i'm going to round it I'll, up i'll say Okay, go ahead. I was going to round it up. So, so given that, I will I will play devil's advocate and round it up, but go lower than I imagine you'll go. I'm going to say 50 million. 50? Yeah. Okay, well, when you said 25, I was thinking closer. I'll say, yeah, I'll say... Uh, I just want to go lower I'll, than 50 million. I'll say 60. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to... It's gonna be way lower than that, though. I think your pro your first one's probably gonna be right. I think I think I'm gonna lose the point on this one. All right. Question four. All right. Question four. Following its acquisition of Ouya earlier this week, 
Ooh, yeah. Some of the platform's Ooh, independent yeah. developers feared new owner Razer would exploit the bankruptcy clause and get out of paying thousands of dollars for owed promotions. However, in an interview with Polygon, Razer's CEO announced that the company would pay the owed developers. Based on recent estimates, how much will Razer pay these Ouya developers? Oh, Ouya. Okay. Man, that was a bad commercial for Ouya, by the way. I, uh, it's who, who would have thought that that would have failed? <laughs> Stadia should have used, uh, should have used that advertisement. 100%. All right. So what, uh, <laughs> what, what, uh, what do we, t- okay. So we're looking at, uh, how much money did they owe to the developers? Um, Gosh, I mean, what and com- is it more than they uh, than than Pixels brought in? <laughs> ah, th- I have no idea what kind of figures we'd be talking about here. I know this is a very like guess random numbers episode. I, tell the you person what. that wrote this this quiz is terrible. <laughs> well, we all, bad listen, quiz. We we might say that, or we could say that these questions are so good because no <laughs> no one could discern the answer beforehand. I mean. You want to be tested in a quiz, so I give the guy props, whoever that handsome devil is. As far as the answer, though, um, again, arbitrary figure, um, thinking about how much they have to physically pay people and knowing how that figure can quickly yeah. kind of evaporate over time. Yeah. Uh, I'll say a million bucks. Oh, man. That's way lower than I thought. <laughs> but here's the thing. you've I've now settled down the low... The question now right. is, can you get closer without going overboard and further away from my answer? So the right. pressure's now on you, I feel. Um, I think you're... Yeah, boy, I wrote down 100 million. I think that's way off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cross that out and put 50 million. But I'm also going to say, we should figure out, do you say that they owe more than Pixels brought in or less than Pixels brought in? Uh, I well, you're, you're saying that they owed, but I say that they would owe less. But I, I just because I mean, how much money could they have? <sighs> I think you're probably right that they probably owe uh, less than than Pixels brought in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Who knows? <laughs> Roll <laughs> the dice. Look really dumb at the end of this one. Here we go. Here we go. Question five. Question five. Since 2009, Rovio Entertainment has released a staggering 11 Angry Birds games. Really? Mm. Not including ports and spin-offs, the main franchise has included Angry Birds Seasons, Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds Friends, Angry Birds Space, Angry Birds Star Wars, and more. So when the Finnish developer went to name its 12th installment, (laughs) just released on iOS and Android devices, what what did they decide to call it? I'm setting well, my, then, I'm, yeah, yeah, I set well, myself up for a for a joke. All right. Well, I don't know the answer to this, so I, I guess I better guess first. Mm-hmm. Um, Angry Birds. Am I right so far? I don't know. We'll give, go ahead. Keep going. Angry Birds. Um. Uh, too mad. Too furious. <laughs> Uh, I'm I know pretty similar wrong, to but... you. I went. I just went with Angry Birds too. Okay. I think that that's the the thing I was setting up is that look at this. They've they've released all these other games and now they're finally getting to number two. I think that's uh, all right. That's probably a that's... safer safer option. But I'm gonna go with the comedy bit and go with Too Mad, <laughs> Too Furious. Even though I know that's uh, right. Angry Birds game that was never released. You never know. Though. Question six. Question six. Launched over 4th of July weekend, Comcept's Red Ash has been fraught oh, with perils. As of the recording of this episode, it doesn't look like the Kickstarter project will come close to reaching its $800,000 nope. asking price. Why does KG and Afune not seem concerned? Alright, we'll deal with the throwback question in a second. Why is he not concerned? The name rings a bell. Alright, well, a little context here. Uh, and I think this might give away some of the answer, though I could be wrong. That I, we'll, we'll find out. Um, but a lot of... Okay, so this was when he was doing the 
mighty number, number nine, nine. Yes, I know exactly. I think right. I think I know and exactly so, why. I think that 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 had already succeeded, and they were currently in yes. development of Mighty Number no. Nine, but it had not come out yet, and they had started this this other Kickstarter. Indeed. And, and I think Mighty Number no. Nine had done exceptionally well on the Kickstarter as well. Yes, if memory one of the serves, most they, they were asking for more uh, more money, but they were upping what they were offering. So it yeah. was just it was just growing and growing and growing. Yeah. So, what would have? Why would? Why would he have not been concerned that this other Kickstarter was not going to go forward? I, I was just going to peg it down to the fact that he's. You know, well, yeah, but Mighty Number no. Nine is exceeding expectations. Yeah, I think, yeah, by leaps and I, I think the original Kickstarter was only for a million bucks, and they ended up something closer to nine or something, or six or sure. seven or something along those. It was, it was like a mammoth over uh, over achievement yeah. on yeah, yeah. Kickstarter. So probably because he was just so confident in the success of Mighty Number no. Nine, and indeed right. with the backing he received on Kickstarter. I think you're right. Uh, I have written down because Mighty Number no. Nine. Yep, about the same. Mighty number nine Kickstarter success I've put, I've put here. Yeah, yep. All right. Throwback All question right. time. And now, the throwback question. For this question, we're going to ditch the recent news and see what was going on 25 years ago. We turn to a classic <laughs> video game magazine for this question. I keep forgetting this is coming. In their August 1990 issue, Electronic Gaming Monthly reviewed 14 games across four different consoles. They reviewed one TurboGrafx-16 game. Can oh you guess what it is based on this review? From start to finish, this is a okay. visually stunning game. Your hero wields big sticks and butcher knives and finally dukes it out with special boss characters and rooms. Action games have been around before, but never like this. Okay. Mm. Let's... All right. Uh, so... All right. My guess is you're not going to do well at this throwback question. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting they're coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So I tell you what, I feel like there's a, a lifeline that's been earned through my earlier answer of Arnold okay. Schwarzenegger. So I feel like I'm inclined now to throw my lifeline back to you to say, okay, can you give me at least some semblance of an answer? Or do you already know, you already know what it is, don't you? Uh, I think I know what it is. Of course you do. But I could be wrong yeah. now that, uh, okay. Uh, they threw me, okay, the year's throwing me off a little bit. Um, okay, I want to say sticks. that it's, I want to say that it's Legendary X, but I don't, I don't know. Now, I think it's throwing me off. I, yeah, I think it's Legendary X. I like how this is a, this is the first time ever I've seen that a past version of oneself is attempting to throw the future version <laughs> of their one their, their self off the scent. Um, this is great. Past Cyril is such a devious little so so, isn't he? Asking these <laughs> questions, not giving much context, throwing you off. Like I think you should have a word with that guy. But I don't think it was the only Turbo Graphics game reviewed, and we saw it in that. We saw it in the the video. Like it was one of the the games that was in the ad playing while that that question was going on. So it might not have been that one. Mm. I don't. I don't know, I think, Lauren. I think Past Cyril's going to have to press you for an answer. I think. I think it's. I think it's Legendary X, but I okay. could be wrong. I will trust. Since you're not sure, I feel like I'm entitled to take that that answer and just and tr- and trust in you as you have trusted in me. Let's let's see if that mutual okay. trust okay. pays off. All right, it's time for the answers. Oh boy! No Here cheating off anyone else. Come on now. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, pencils down, everybody. Now it's time to see how many you got right. Here are the answers. Mm. On Wednesday, Square Enix announced a treasure trove of Dragon Quest games to celebrate the franchise's 30th anniversary. As it turns out, two of these games are for the Nintendo NX, a system still shrouded in mystery. In 2016, the console will get versions of both Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest XI in search of the departed time. 
This brand new Dragon Quest game is also coming to PlayStation 4 and new Nintendo 3DS. Oh. Mama. While it's doubtful the two stories are directly connected, it looks like Hulk Hogan will be replaced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you go! Terminator. 2K Games announced this week that they will offer a special version of the T-800 in their next game, but only for people who pre-order. Given the thumping Terminator Genesis took at the box office, There's perhaps that. 2K yeah. Games should have included a yeah. dinosaur from Jurassic World instead. Kind of hard okay. to sell for a dinosaur, though. Uh, okay. Oh uh, well, we we you got that right, but I want to I want to bring up the moment I saw the footage. I remembered, and I should have remembered this earlier, but the only reason I remember it is because of the editing. Because when I went to use the footage of Arnold Schwarzenegger in uh, in the WWE game, yes, uh, it immediately got flagged. They flagged your use of the game yeah. footage. Yeah. Yeah. And I kept trying to figure out how to get around it. I tried all sorts of different things, and it was a nightmare. I could not, uh, I, I couldn't get it to not be, you know, the video up, the, to not be flagged. So it, it, yeah. I ended up having to go with, like, old game footage that, of course, wasn't going to get flagged. In fairness to you, I think that was in the period where WWE were going a bit content strike happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that doesn't surprise me, but. Yeah. yeah, the the Arnie link was there. And, Good job. Uh, there you go. Now this is the one I'm real curious about. All right. Well, this is these are a series of answers where we're either going to lowball it or highball it. Oh boy. You be the Here judge. Although his star has been waning in recent years, Columbia Pictures hoped that 1980s video game characters could turn Adam Sandler into an action star. The plan didn't work. Pixels was ripped apart by critics, and summer movie goers decided to stay home. This resulted in a pathetic $24 million 24? opening, oh, less than what Jack and Jill brought in in its first weekend. It was beaten by Ant-Man, and then quickly brushed out of the top three. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't expect Pixels 2 anytime soon. Okay, so... Cyril was right. 20, 24... No, I was way off on that was in t Past Cyril. Past Cyril was, was right. We, yes, we ain't seen no Pixels 2 anytime soon. That is very true. <laughs> I feel like you should also get retroactive points for any predictions that you've made that turn out to be right. <laughs> I feel like that was a good call and that warrants a point. Future I I Cyril agrees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, does that does that change how you feel about uh, the ne this next question, the, the one about uh, how much the developers are owed? Do you think that that's going to be less than $24 million? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, okay. I think so. All right. I think you're probably right. When Ouya started its Free the Game initiative, the company was set to match the Kickstarter funds raised for independent game projects. The goal was to secure an army of indie games that would be exclusive for the fledgling oh, micro console, mm. even if for only a short amount of time. Unfortunately, this didn't pan out as smoothly as the developers hoped. Three years on, the company still owes developers an estimated six hundred and twenty thousand so dollars. Wow. Now it looks like Razor will pick up the tab, despite no legal obligation to pay out the money. Oh, there you go. I could not have been further off. What? A, I am just so Cyril off buys my one Rolls Royce, and suddenly the man doesn't know what a box of cereal costs anymore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I do. Um, it does feel like that, doesn't it? Oh my god! <laughs> all I, right. I, in all honesty, I I just went low. You went high. It's it's that luck of the draw. Uh, you might have gone low. I might have gone high. I think we both we both got respectively lucky and unlucky uh, with that. That's all. I think this is going to be me coming back here, though. When Rovio Entertainment went to name its twelfth Angry Birds game, they went with an unusual choice: Angry hmm. Birds Two. Yeah. This is especially yeah. confusing to people who played Angry Birds Trilogy on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, <laughs> Wii U, PS Vita, and, well, every other console active between 2012 and 2013. Makes me wonder what they packed in that trilogy. Uh, on second thought, I really don't care. <laughs> Have you ever played a an Angry Birds game? Once, a very long yeah. time ago when I was with my brothers in Australia, because they thought it was hilarious. I think I've only played the clones. 
or when you know like a game will uh, will build onto the theme and then come to consoles i don't think i ever played any of the original ones uh, yeah you're not missing a lot you're not yeah. missing a lot yeah that's right here questions uh question six answer six Despite a slow start and a week of bad press, KG Inafune announced this week that Red Ash will be officially picked up by a Chinese publisher called Fuse Entertainment. What will happen to the hundreds of thousands already raised in a month's worth of fundraising? Well, it's going to go towards the stretch goals. What are the stretch goals? Nobody is saying. Hmm, I wonder if Inafune will try crowdfunding again. That's two preemptive points that you could have maybe claimed there but still i could have yeah 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 never mind oh did that game ever come out <laughs> what, what was that i don't remember that and then of course mighty number no. nine had some uh, issues when it came out had some Not issues a lot of people yes, loving but... that mm, right. but what are you gonna do so yeah i'm starting right. to falter here you're starting to come into your own a little bit but uh, uh let's see if we let's see if we can do it with legendary axe all right when Splatterhouse made its oh! Turbo Graphics 16 debut in 1990, critics were impressed. Yep. Oh, Electronic Game Monthly stick. is just one of the magazines raving about the stunning visuals and special boss characters. The magazine was less kind to Splatterhouse 2 and 3 on the Genesis. Oh, and that's the end of the quiz. Lauren, we did not uh, we did not do well this week. This was this was a very bad episode. You say that. I have a marked improvement over my score from last week, my friend. So I see this as a resounding success. What about you? Uh, oh. You got two right. I got three right. You got three right? What, which, which, well, wait. The way, the way I figure it is that I got closer Hold to on. the answers than you did. So I get the points. Wait a second. <laughs> I what, figure everyone gets the points if they got closer right? than you. I'll give well, you the, I, the one that you said a million dollars. Okay, so I got Arnie. Got I got Arnie. the million bucks. And I got closer to the Pixels thing than you did. So I got the 50 million. That, you no, put like you 70 or 80. Uh, 24, 26, 50, same thing. <laughs> All right, you fine. Would know. I would Two have given you seven, I would have given you that point if you had stayed with the 25 million you originally said. Fine. Two out of six. Uh, so I did say it. You talked me out of it. I you know. made me question myself. I'm um, fine. Two out of seven, then. Still an improvement and from for, last week. And 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 I'm happy I did that now because that means that we tied. Ugh. This episode we we tied, and so we're gonna have to. We're just gonna have to come back next week and see if we can do better, right, Lord? Ah oh, man, it's only the only way from here is up. So yes, I, let's do this uh, next week. That's right. All right, well, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, We're going to be back next week with the third episode. I hope that everyone will let us know how they do in the comments below, of course. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, your uh, the Defunct Games news uh, episode, not quiz, the episode that's coming later this week, coming on Sunday. Everyone should tune in. Can't wait. Can't, oh, everyone should tune in. You should get your mothers, your families, yeah. your fathers, yeah. daughters, brothers, sisters, cousins, everyone you can think of. Tell them to watch, because why not? There's nothing better to do on a Sunday than catch up on the gaming news of the week. And maybe, <laughs> just maybe, there'll be some laughs along the way. Who knows? Just a couple. Well, I, I look forward to that. You do a bang-up job, Lauren. All right, for everybody, uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, see you then. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Online Pass Replay. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that Lauren and I plan on going through all 19 episodes. Eventually. Don't worry, we're also going to post other stuff, too. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite game show? I'm talking about TV games like Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune and The Price is Right and maybe Card Sharks and I don't know, there are a ton of them. Personally, I'm a Match Game 76 guy, but I can't wait to see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back on Sunday with a new episode of Defunct Games News, followed next week with a whole new month full of stuff. I'm talking reviews, features, and maybe even some more magazine coverage. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 